All right, guys, welcome to your first writing note-taking video. Um, you should have a notebook at home, and we're going to just call that your writing journal. If you want to skip the first page, that'd be great. And then on the second page, you're going to write the title, The Writing Process. Okay, and you can probably hear my mom and dad talking in the background. Sorry about that. The Writing Process. This should be something that's pretty familiar to you. What is the first thing we do when we write? And there are other steps that are gonna be inside each of these steps, but we're just keeping it broad for right now. The first thing you do when you write, you just start writing. You might, you might, that's okay. You might have your ideas out there. But the first thing you do is you pre-write. Right, and that's where you get your ideas out. You think about it, you brainstorm. Um, what else? You, you plan, right? You use your graphic organizers, all that. The next thing you do after you pre-write is you draft. You like start to work on the bulk of the paper. So you put your thoughts on paper. I'm skipping a line. I like to keep my notes, oh sorry, between the two lines on the edges. This is a big notebook. You should be using a composition notebook. I didn't have one at home. I'm gonna get one at school tomorrow and copy these down. Now, you've written your whole piece, right? What do you do next? You edit and revise, right? So editing comes next, and that's what we're gonna talk about a little bit more today. Um, you review it, you make sure your grammar is good, spelling is a big thing. I'm not super picky about spelling as long as I know what the word is, it's good. But if you have had time to edit and revise your paper, your spelling should be good, right? capitalizing, your punctuation needs to be good, all that. And then we revise. And some people flip these. I prefer to edit what I have first and then revise. That's what I do. Um, if you revise first and you go ahead and you rework your organizing and you add details first, you might move things, take it away, whatever. If you do that first, that's fine. But I prefer to edit first. And then you edit, revise, edit, revise. You repeat those steps until it is absolutely perfect. You, you finish your piece, right? You publish. Publish your piece. Your final writing. All right, and this is the second part of this video, so I turn to a new page. When you edit, which is what your assignment is today, you use the acronym CUPS, all right? And we will be adding to this more. Um, this is just the preliminary part today. On my paper, I'm gonna write C-U-P-S, all right? It's not the most even thing. Today, we're just gonna talk about what each of those stands for, and then we're gonna go back and add an example at a later time, just so you're not sitting here taking notes, 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 notes. And I think the fun thing about this is you can pause my video, you can rewind, you can add your own examples in. So that's pretty cool, right? All right, so C stands for capitalization. Right? Proper nouns need to be capitalized, which is like your names, your places, all that. The first letter of your sentence needs to be capitalized, right? The second one is usage, which is like grammar. Does it sound right? We don't say they is going to the store. We say they are going to the store. And again, we're gonna add specific examples at a later time. The next one is punctuation. This one's very important too. You're in fifth grade, you know that every sentence ends in a period or other kind of punctuation, right? And we're gonna start to work on those commas as well. The S, stands for spelling, and I already said, spelling is not that big of a deal for me. If it looks right and I can tell what it sounds like, you're in fifth grade, that's fine. But if you get time to edit, you need to go through and look and circle those words that might be spelled wrong and go ahead and look up in a dictionary or look up on the Google how you spell those words correctly, right? So next week or the week after, we will be adding specific examples of these, but for now, you have this in your notebook on the page after your writing process. You can go ahead and pick one of the prompts that you did this week, either prompt one or two, and I want you to edit it. When you edit it, I want you to highlight what you edit, please. 
That way I know like you were like, hey, this needed to be changed, right? Thanks so much. See y'all later.